Richard, gentlemen, the London Naval Treaty has 1930 has just been signed, and if you will wait here for one or two moments, Mr. MacDonald will come and say a few words to you. If you'll just wait a minute or two. Sit down, Luke. Well, um, my friends of the press, the uh, treaty has just been signed. It's not the end of a volume. It is only the end of a chapter. <coughs> and we're already uh, turning over fresh leaves to uh, begin the opening paragraph of the next one. I think that's good uh, technical literary language uh, which you all understand. I must thank you, first of all, the whole of the press for the kindly forbearance which they have shown during weeks which I am sure must have every now and again been very weary for you. But uh, you have put public interest before everything else. Mr. Prime Minister, since that memorable meeting on the Rapidan, when you met with President Hoover and discussed with him the principles which have now been realized into the treaty that we signed this morning. All of us members of the American delegation have been looking forward to this moment. We come here this, at this time to extend to you our most sincere thanks and congratulations upon the work which you have so successfully accomplished. And, uh... As I say, it's a sad thing to bid you goodbye because you've become as one of ourselves. But I hope you'll have a pleasant voyage. Take my most hearty and profound respects with you to Mr. Hoover and give my very kindest regard to all the friends I left behind me in Washington. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Simpson, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Prime goodbye and you'll be back in the hardness shortly.